Microsoft Forms has a new feature that lets you create questions where the people who respond can upload a file. So this might be a good option if you're looking to collect documents from students and have them all stored in one place. So you can create a question that your responders need to upload a file and you can decide which type of files they would upload, whether it be a Word document, Excel, PowerPoint, a PDF, or an image or video. So once you have created the form that allows your students to be able to upload a file, you would then be able to go and see their responses and you would be able to see all of the different documents that have been uploaded. This process also creates a specific folder in your OneDrive that you can go to to see all of the documents that have been uploaded. So once you have created the question and documents start getting uploaded, you could go to OneDrive um, in your files and you're going to follow the path for the apps folder that's created and here you're going to see that I have a folder called Microsoft Forms. I've created two different forms already that have allowed for files to be uploaded so you'll see when I click on each of those folders I have my questions here and when I click in each of the questions, I can see the documents that have been uploaded by each of my students. So this is a nice way because it keeps all of the documents that have been submitted in one place. So in order to start the process of this, you are going to go to Office 365 and go to Microsoft Forms, and then you're going to begin creating a new form. You can give your form a title, and a brief description here. And then when you click on Add, you're going to go to the drop-down arrow and select File Upload as your question type. This is then telling you that a new folder is being created in your OneDrive and all of the files for the people who respond are going to be uploaded to this place. You'll then click OK and you'll type in your question one. And this could just be as simple as please submit. You are going to have the option to choose how many files you want to be uploaded. So if you know your students are going to need to submit two different documents, you can select two different documents. If you want to keep it separate and have one question where they submit one document and add another question where they submit another document, that would help it keep a little bit more organized. You can decide how big you want the file size to be, um, and the default is going to be 10 megabytes, which would be fine for most documents. You'll toggle on the button that makes this a required answer, and then from the drop down here, you also have the ability to determine which type of file you want your students to submit. So if you know that it's going to be a Word document, you would click on Word, and this means that the students are only going to be able to upload this type of document. If you don't want any specific type of document selected at all and you want them to have free choice, just do not check anything else off. You can continue adding as many new questions as you want. So if you have two different files that you would want them to upload, you can just add another question. Once you hit the share button, it's going to generate a link that you can copy. And right now this is saying people in the organization can respond. So this means that anybody that has a lindbrookschools.org email would be able to answer this question when you share the link with them. So once I copy this link and I could paste it into a new window to see what this looks like, you'll see that your students will end up seeing um, the form. They're going to have to log in because this is how it's going to record um, their name and tell you who is adding the document. And once they've signed in, they'll see your form, and this is going to give them the option here to upload their file. So when they choose Upload File, they can go and they can click on whichever file they're uploading, and it's going to start processing that here. They'll do the same thing for any other questions that they have. 
And when they are all finished with that and it finishes uploading, they'll click on the Submit button. As your students start to answer these questions, you'll be able to click on the Responses tab and see all of the different responses for each of the questions. Also, when you go back to your OneDrive, you're going to click on your Apps folder. You'll then click on Microsoft Forms, and here, this is my research paper form that I just added. So when I click on research paper, it's going to show that I have two different questions in here. And when I click on that folder, I'll be able to see that this specific student uploaded this document. So this might be a good way for you to collect some documents from students and have it stay nicely organized.